So from here, there are several things that can be done. So I show you, just watch. I With the black arrow tool, I click just beside the object. No object is, no, is selected. I will make a copy of that style by bringing it to the paper here in the graphic size palette. I will use that copy on one object here. And in the appearance panel, I will make the background color here different. Okay, orange. And the color here of the stroke, red. Okay, so I could change also the patterns in, on both fill, but I will not do it here. And you may create another style here. So you have Okay, so sorry, but the, f the, the copy is not really necessary. So I have two styles identical here, and I have a third one. Okay, we'll try to use it on uh, text. You grab the text tool, and then you click. Don't click and drag like that. It's not good. You're making a text box. For paragraphs, I don't want it. I control Z. I just click with the text tool because I want to make a, just a little uh, word, uh, a title. Then you will increase the size of that text, of course. With the free transform tool, you grab the corner handle and with the shift key, you increase the size. Okay, good. And then we'll put the graphic style onto it. This is it. The first graphic style, not very good. The letters are too small. That first graphic style that was good for large shapes is not good for small shapes like the, those letters. So maybe the second one is nice. Third one. The third one is the same as the second one. So I put it in the trash. Okay. And this text is modifiable. I could use the text tool and change the name here. Okay, it works. Okay, save the document. Okay, let's see if you want to use uh, those styles in another document. Okay, I'll show you. You make another document. Don't close the first one. Just make another document. And now you have the tabs here to go from one to the other. Okay, it's a CMYK document. I'll try to go in file, document color mode, RGB. Okay, it's an RGB. Okay, so in that second docu document, the styles you just made are not there. One way to put them there is to transfer them by using an object as a carrier. So I select one object here. I copy, control C. You could just click on the paper here and the graphic style is included in the graphic style panel and uh, if you use any tool you may apply that style okay that's one way to do it that's not the best way um, anyway so this is what you will do you go in the graphic styles panel of your document and you go in the menu and you go to save graphic styles library save graphic style library to the desktop In the other document, open graphic style library, open library, and then it is there. And then I open it and I have a panel with my styles. That panel is not modifiable, but when I use uh, the styles on any, any object, it is included into the graphic styles panel of that document. So that's the way to transfer graphic styles from one document to the other.